Hello lovelies, welcome to a brand new vlog. I thought I would vlog today, um, starting a bit late in the day because it is two o'clock in the afternoon and I look like this. I still have my pyjamas on. Um, I woke up this morning with such a bad back. If it's not a back it's my knees if it's not my knees it's my head it's something or other but this morning it was my back it was really really bad I honestly was in so much pain um I got up to go to the toilet and I barely made it to the toilet with the pain um but I took some pain relief and then I laid back down and waited for it to um, subside a little bit. Um, it's still there niggly but it's a lot better than it was this morning um, and I kind of got stuck into looking at my phone and scrolling through TikTok and by the time I knew it it was like half past one and I was like oh my god. Um, I did have a bit of a lie in this morning um, so I did get up a bit later than usual um, and it always takes me long to get out of bed and kind of get going in the morning. They're pretty much the worst time of the day. Um, I used to be such a morning person, um, but obviously with chronic illness and chronic pain, mornings are not great for me because getting out of the bed and trying to straighten up, trying to stand up straight and to like get my body to move um, takes quite a while. So mornings are not great for me, but yeah, it's Saturday morning and I um, had a bit of a lie in and then when I did get up, the pain was real. Um, but the pain's okay now. I can move about. Um, I'm okay. Um, I'm at the level where I can cope with it and I can still do things. So um, I'm happy about that, even though it's took pretty much half of the day to get going. Um, I went downstairs, made myself a cup of tea, um, folded some laundry up and I'm about to get in the shower, wash my face because I have not even washed my face today. I brushed my teeth, that's the only thing I did. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get in the shower and then I was thinking... I really want to sort out my vanity where you're sitting on now. Um, I'll show you my drawer. It's really, really bad. Uh, my vanity area is so messy, like in the drawer. And it's so annoying because I don't really use that much makeup. I will get out of the shower and come and put some makeup on before I decide to go out, if I do decide to go out. I really want to go to B&M's um, and get some plastic little tray dividers to go in my drawer to sort out like my makeup pieces. So I thought I'd do that because I really want to go out and get a bit of fresh air. Um, so, and I don't think that will be too strenuous. Um, parking is great you can park straight outside the door and I could just go in and uh, yeah have a little mooch and then I just get straight back in the car and drive home again so I'm thinking of taking my son with me I normally go with someone anyway um, but I think I'm gonna go with my um, 14 year old son um, he's gonna love that he's like oh do we have to go and yes we do um, I'll show you inside my drawer hold on so guys, please do not judge me, um, but this is what the inside of my drawer looks like. These Ikea drawers, they don't come out anymore, so you can't really like get to the back of them. Um, so normally at the back, I kind of put things that I don't use very often, but yeah, it's such a mess in this drawer. Like everything's just everywhere. I've got like concealers here. Um, we've got a eyebrow pencil there. I, there's just a random load of stuff here and a random load of stuff here as you can see everything's just a mess I've got batteries in here oh my god that's got a bit of hair on it a little cotton pad um some lip stuff here take that out that's dirty let's take that out of there um and as you can see we've got lip stuff here and then over here is just a mess got some painkillers and just mess it is awful so i want to get some of the plastic see-through containers obviously there there is containers in here but they're all sort of like just mix and match whatever i could find in the house and this is like a box 
that had a gifting or something like that so i pop that in there and um, so yeah i want to get some of those see-through things so we can organize this um so um yeah let's get in the shower and and let's actually start making movements i'm quite surprised that the um light is quite bright because it's quite dull outside but i have got my hollywood mirror on the light on and it's actually quite good it's lighting up the place don't mind my coats on the back of the door i have nowhere to put all of my clothes you would have seen by now my um wardrobe refresh um it was a long video and i was like why did i do this i made the video so long but i know there's a few of you that will actually would enjoy just watching and just you know spending time with me sort out my wardrobe so i tried to edit it the, the smallest amount um but there yeah it's basically raw sort of footage of me sorting out my wardrobe and believe it or not guys that is like a fraction of my clothing that was just tops like i have more tops i have more dress i have loads of dresses which you haven't seen i have loads of bottoms trousers jeans leggings that i need to sort out i have loads of coats i've got some on the back of the door here that i use more regularly and then i also have some downstairs in my outer house um so yeah i really honestly i was trying to like declutter and trying to get rid of some stuff but i, I find it really hard because clothes are just my obsession <laughs> Uh, along with many other things um but yeah i i um i'm really happy with my wardrobe now it's a lot more sort of organized i can see uh what i've got even though it's still quite full up i can kind of see everything and i can move the hangers slightly so i can like kind of do this whereas before i could not even like get my hand in there it was so tight so yeah i'm really happy that i managed to do that but anyways let me get in the shower and um i'll be back i'm out the shower thank goodness for that um i was using this turmeric oil which was so nice where is the bottle i think i popped it where did i pop it i wanted to keep the bottle because i wanted to show you guys oh my god i don't know where it is but i will show you later on um and i was using it it was from aldi and it was so nice but it's finished and now i wish i bought more it was in their special buy section um yeah it was really really nice it was um from their special buy selection and I've run out of it so we're going to do some different skincare today I'm going to put on this Paula's Choice BHA sensitive skin exfoliant um I've not used this in a while and it's kind of like that um I wash my face I double cleanse when I'm in the shower um I don't put a toner on or anything like that and honestly I don't know if I put my um, skincare um, products on the right way. I do try and like Google and find out whether I'm doing it right or whether I can mix certain skincare uh, products with others because sort of learning how to do skincare for myself um, and making sure that I'm using the correct stuff and I think what it was is a few times I put skincare on and it started stinging and I'm like oh my god like maybe it's one of them don't go with the other so I started to like kind of research and make sure what I was using um is able to be used with some of the other stuff so um yeah I uh, make sure that I don't mix things that are not allowed to be with other things because i don't want that stinging sensation it is horrible i just felt like i had to wash my face again and get it all off and start again i'm using this uh, l'oreal uh reverter lift and I, I really like this and i use it under my eyes and i definitely feel like um it makes a difference with like the puffiness and also if you're someone that puts concealer under your eyes it's always good to kind of um kind of prime your eyes with some skincare and i really do like this i do like to just go around like my eyebrow 
but um, yeah, I do like to put this on because I feel like it makes a difference because I do use concealer. Um, and then I'm just going to put a cream on. Um, I've got a few creams going at the moment. I've got this um, hyaluronic acid multi peptide, not hyaluronic acid, multi peptide from Lecura, which this is my holy grail like i absolutely love this cream um but i do have some like more expensive creams i have uh this one here from est uh and order i don't know if i say that right but it's a vertali uh, vertilizing supreme um um this is okay honestly like i wouldn't repurchase it basically and it is pricey and then what's this other one here i'll have another liqueur cream which is a collagen renew cream this one's not too bad um this one's a bit more thicker a little bit more sort of oilier um so if you have like dry skin this is good and sometimes i'll use this of an evening so that my face is more sort of moisturized more sort of um hydrated through the night but this one is kind of like got that kind of I don't know gooey but honestly i really love this cream i or when i whenever i see it in aldi i always buy about four of them um it i think it is meant to be the dupe of the um drunken elephant skincare which is this uh this um brand and they're very expensive but um the liqueur one is beautiful the aldi liqueur one honestly i highly recommend it it's like i'm not gonna lie i think it's like my best face cream it's so nice it feels so soft so moisturizing so i'm gonna go to the shop because i did order or i did buy purchase some skincare from vintage i bought the um clarins so a Clarins um, serum and the reason why I bought it was because I really wanted to try it out and it's really quite pricey online and yeah people sell unwanted gifts and people that uh, get uh, PR sent to them people that do a lot of beauty on their uh, social media they get like free P PR, skincare PR, so they sell a lot on Vinted, and so I do buy skincare on there, um, I'm just using the Laneige uh, sleeping mask, I really like this, it's so moisturising, I don't like it, today is it going to be a makeup free day, no I'm going to put a little bit on, this is the um, cream that I use on my body, guys, this cream is amazing, Honestly, it is so nice. And also, I have this um, app on my phone called Yakka, I think it's called. I'll pop it on the screen. And on that app, it's got a barcode um, scanning thing where you can scan all of your skincare and food. Um, and it tells you if it's, like, good for you. Like, if, what, if it's got any harmful stuff in it. Um, it gives it a rating out of 100. The closer to 100 the better it is and this is like 98 for a cream and this honestly is so moisturizing i'm really sort of into like skincare and um my skin feeling highly moisturized and this on this honestly makes my skin feel so good um i cream every morning and every night i have a shower every morning and every night and this is just the best cream to cream with right i'm gonna cream my bottom half i'll be back okay so i'm all moisturized thank god i've got the most comfiest bra on guys if you are looking for comfy bras this bra from um Sainsbury's is so so comfortable it's non-padded and it's just so it's like 12 pounds and it comes in black white and nude um I've just so over the padded bras now I, I need to sort out my underwear drawer and just get rid of all the padded bras because I know I'm not going to wear them anymore um I washed my hair I'm going to wear a cap today and um yeah and do my hair tomorrow we've got rugby tomorrow um but I'm going to go in with some concealer. And honestly, this is my holy grail concealer. Like, I've got so many concealers in there. I've got really sort of expensive ones to this. And this is like 
£2.50. Unfortunately, they don't do it in the shop anymore. Like, they do do it in the shop, but they don't do the colour I need in the shop. So I just buy it off of Amazon. Amazon still sell it, and I normally buy it in bulk. So when I buy it, I'll buy, like, three or four of them. So I just because I'm just worried that they're going to not have them anymore. Um, and this is my last one, so I do need to read reorder some more. Um, it's in the colour Toffee, if you are, like, a colour, uh, sort of a same skin tone as me and I literally just I don't what I noticed that I used to put quite a bit of concealer under my eyes but as I'm growing older I do have a few more lines under my eyes so I don't put as much concealer under my eyes I just put it in the corners and then I spread it and then it doesn't look so sort of like liney or cakey or whatever and I'm literally just gonna go over any sort of like uh sort of any dark anything that looks a little bit dark on my face like any um any kind of discoloring and then what i'm gonna do is uh, i, I kind of go through sometimes i'll use a brush and sometimes i'll use a beauty blender but today i'm going to use a brush and this brush is so good it's like at a slant can you see it and i picked this up in aldi um liqueur it was one of their special buys uh a few weeks back and I thought, oh, that, that looks really nice. Like a good sort of concealer brush that I could really sort of um, blend in my concealer. And as you can see, I just spread it, the concealer across my eye like this. So where I didn't sort of put it in the middle of my eye under here, um, I just bring it across because then it it's not too much product. And then my under my eyes don't get too sort of liney. Like you don't really see too many wrinkles. Um, so yeah, a little goes a long way. You just need to know how to kind of spread it across. First, bring it across. I'm not an expert at makeup, but I know how to kind of do my own makeup and know what works for me. And I just kind of bring it down. And as you can see, it's made a bit of a difference. I have a bit of discolouring around my nose here, a um, bit of redness. So I always put a bit of concealer there and then I just kind of like spread it out just so that it makes my skin tone look a little bit more even. And then I had a little bit of a kind of dark bit here. And I spread that out. And where else did I put it? I can't remember where else I put it. Because I put it so lightly, you can barely see it. But as you can see, that made such a difference. I mean, you can still see a little bit of the um, sort of bags under my eyes. But I, I don't really... Oh my God, the TV just come on. I really, um, let's pause that, um, I really don't want to put a lot of makeup on. I also got influenced by Becky Reynolds and she was doing her makeup and she had one of these hoodie, Huda uh, Beauty, what are they called? It's called Blush Filter, um, but the only thing is they only had this colour left and it is quite dark i've opened it so i can't return it now so i'm just gonna have to i feel like let's put some bronzer on first um which i'm just gonna go in with my charlotte tilbury I, i'm really sorry i don't know what color it is because it's quite old and it's um it's come off at the back but that's what the color looks like and i literally i'm gonna push this back a bit and i literally just just put a little bit around my forehead and then I just come down onto my cheeks here. Hello. Are you ready? Um, and I'm just here just to give myself a little bit of de definition and then a little bit under my chin here. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Have you done your hair? Have you creamed your face? Yeah, Did you cream your face? No, I haven't. What cream? Yeah. Okay. So that's I'll put a little bit down the side of my nose like this. And I was actually gonna use this, this is what it looks like. I was gonna use this as like a um like a bronzer, but I tried it on my hand and it is quite um, it's quite sort of pinky, so literally I'm just going to put one little dot here 
and one little dot here because honestly this goes a long way well i've not tried it out on my face yet but right we're gonna use this big giant um here and i'm, I'm gonna do this let's try and spread it out it's how pigmented is that guys so pigment like literally it is so pigmented there and then blend this one in here literally just one little dot and look at the difference you can really see i look a bit like you know just a little bit flush which is quite nice isn't it i mean i could go on with a bit more but i really don't want to so i think that's fine and then i will actually put on some mascara on my lower lashes and honestly this is so nice guys i got it gifted to me it's really um, nice how would you know i got this gifted to me it's a double impact jewel end mascara from be perfect i think it's called be perfect be perfect makeup i uh when i did the, the modeling and um they gave us all goodie bags of be perfect stuff in and look at that look how thin this is and i put this on just my lower lashes you've got the bigger side as well and um, so i'm just going to put a little bit on my lower lashes i don't use the big one because i have lash extensions so this little brush is perfect i'm only popping a little bit on okay so that's that i'm just going to brush my lashes which at the moment they're looking a bit funky uh i love my lashes when you first get them done but we're now about two weeks in and you start losing some and then some look you know they just look a little bit funky sometimes but i do feel like they look better in person than they do on camera like whenever i'm editing i've got a little bit of mascara under my eyes i'm just gonna use i'll uh, wait for it to dry then i will um and then sometimes what i do is not all the time because my eyebrows are they are um tattooed anyway but I just kind of give it a little bit of a brush in those areas that look a little bit sparse. That'll do. That'll do me. Um, and then I normally, do you know what, guys? I, I will show you. I will show you this blusher, which again I got highly influenced from an influencer. Um, this nude stick blusher, and they're magnetic, so you can buy you know you can buy one every month or whatever you want to do because they are quite pricey um i bought these two and this is like one of the colors and and it, i love the fact that it's magnetic and then this one is obviously the color that i use quite a bit but it's so nice let me get my little it's so nice let's pop a little bit on i do feel like so I do have like obviously makeup that is um cheaper as you can tell like I use my concealer which I love which is a coll from collection but I have got some higher priced makeup and I will say that it the higher priced makeup it it honestly does make a difference like the blush the blush I've got cheaper blushes and I don't think that they are as nice as like the more ex premium expensive blushes right let's see if i can get this little bit of mascara from under my eyes um that'll do i really can't be bothered today i am going to put a little bit of powder on just because i am an oily girl i've got the charlotte tilbury um baking setting powder or whatever you call it and i literally just pat it into my eye and i just put it on the areas that i know get really oily like my nose gets really shiny and i hate that and around my nose and then just a little bit on my forehead like so and then i'll just go ahead and put some setting um spray on so i look a bit dry now but give it five minutes and i'll look shiny again um, and then i'm going in with this Lacura um setting spray which is the dupe of the charlotte tilbury so i spray quite a bit 
um, and then I'll just wait for that to dry. I do really want to get the real Charlotte Tilbury. I've never actually had the real Charlotte Tilbury, but when I did some modelling, one of the girls that was doing my makeup, she used a Charlotte Tilbury spray on me, and oh my god, it smelled, and it just felt so, so nice. So um, I'm definitely going to um, invest in one of those, or just tell someone to buy it for me for Christmas. Not that people buy me Christmas, like, I don't have a lot of people that buy me Christmas presents, but I'll tell like my partner or the kids if they say, "Oh, Mum, we don't know what to get you for Christmas." I'll say, "Oh, get me the Charlotte Tilbury Tilbury setting spray." Um, but yeah, that is about it. And I'm gonna pop a cat on anyway, so let me get dressed. I look like a boy today. Get in my video. Handsome, very handsome. So okay, we are in the car. Whoa. I'm in the car. I look like a boy today, guys. I've got a cap on um, because I've got a t-shirt on. Yes, I do know the words for you. Yeah, and you start seeing it really early as well in the year. You were singing it in the summer and I was like, can you stop singing that song? It was actually getting on my nerves. I was like, I don't want Christmas just yet. I've just walked into Home Bargains and there's some really nice um, sort of Christmas decorations. I like these um, stocking holders. Shame they're silver because my decor is gold. So hopefully when I go around the shop, I may be able to find some um, gold bits. Got some nutcrackers down here as well, which are eight pounds um, and these little gnomes are four pounds um oh so yeah these are four pounds as well which are really really nice actually uh, we'll keep going along and see what else we can find we've got some baubles down here which are ten pounds these ones are like a pinky color and these ones are like the tra tra traditional red get your words out jode oh i really like these leafings i think i'll get some more of these i already have some but i think i'll get some more for my tree these are gold leaves so just walking along as i'm coming in and they've got some gift sets just like home bargains these ones are a little bit more smaller yeah, they're 3.99 we have some Radox ones which are 5 dollars We've got this little gift set as well actually which is kind of cute looking. Um, enhanced Radiance. This is definitely like a dupe for like Charlotte Tilbury. It's got the Wonder Cream Weightless Setting Spray and a matte uh, blush. That is definitely a Charlotte Tilbury dupe. I think it's $4.99. Well, I don't know because that's a Nivea, which is that one. Oh, that, that's... There's all the prices are all wrong, guys. We just come across and see some more bits here. Which is... This is a hair facial remover. I wonder how good that is. Might give that a go. So I just spotted this. This is definitely a dupe of that... Um, what is the perfume called? Is it Noah? No. Or I wish they had sort of one out that you could smell. Hmm. It's three ninety nine. Not too bad. Got some more little gift sets here as well, which are what are these mini fragrances? Oh my god, this is definitely a dupe of Angel. As you can see, it's in the same kind of bottle. Cute little gift set, so four ninety nine for that one makeup brush set here for eight pounds and then you also have some like hair dryers and stuff like that and straighteners down there spotted this one as well that is definitely a dupe of angel um and i can't remember what this one's a dupe of but i do know it so we've got that as well they're all 3.99 some of the uh, mega pa mega packs of the air wicks here um as you can see the two packs of diffusers which are um they are oh, how much are they i think 3.99 or 5.99 i'm not sure 
um, but they've got those ones they've got the uh, winter festive ones there and they also have the um, cozy cottage ones as well as Stacey Solomon um, selection and then you've got these pumpkin spice um, plugins and this warm festive let's smell what this one let's see what this smells like can't smell it guys I just spotted these and they are in frosted pony and dark orchid I can imagine this smelling really nice so it's a limited edition and it's 249 I may pick one of those up actually actually they've got the uh, spray here I might have a little naughty really nice really nice I might get one of those they've also got some got a chocolate selection here and I'm actually looking for some Lindor um, some Lindor chocolates and some Ferrero Rochers just to put in the boys advent calendars along with their other bits that I've got but I can't see any here let's keep looking oh my god guys I've just only spotted just one but I absolutely love this where is it oh it's at the bottom they've changed it the um location I was looking for this last time I was in here oh my god if you haven't tried this you need to try it it's so good they're 129 I think they used to be like a pound but uh yeah 129 now these are quite good looking um luxury crackers and they're eight pounds let's have a look and see what's in the back of them to be honest i just hate crackers because there's nothing exciting usually it's just they look great i think i'll give them ones a miss come down this aisle with all the chocolates but i still can't see any ferrero rocher chocolates or any like lindor chocolates there's so much chocolate here but there's not the ones that i want a little peruse down at the cleaning aisle and again as you can see they've got the sprays there we've got the mrs hinch um bathroom spray there and then they also have this mrs hinch which looks kind of like all to me um but yeah like i said i'm not really a fan of these so guys i just got to this section here and they've got these little sprays which this is definitely a dupe of the miss dior and they're 149 and you've got this one which is called lovely girl which i'm sure is a dupe of good girl um and then you've got this flower bloom which definitely is a dupe of um oh what well, i forgot with flower bomb or something like that and then you've got this one which is bella rouge you know what that is um i smell a, a, a copy of the baccar rouge and then you've also got these and i'm sure this is a dupe of the creed um but yeah and then i also see down below you've got these this really smells like watermelon i just smelt it i think maybe they're a dupe of the soldierios and you've got the copy of like the bum bum cream here um, and you've got the little gift sets as well which are 5 99 which is not so bad so this is my favorite um, marcella water the vitamin c cleansing in here it's 6.99 which is not too bad because it's the big bottle here but i'm gonna order mine off of amazon because at the moment you can get it for 5.99 on amazon and i am picking up some more concealers so i'll just order that when i pick up my concealers but i thought i would show you there you've got some some more garnier um sort of cleanser washes here as well which are 329 um and there's some more garnier oh my god guys this stuff is amazing it's a really nice body cream um it's got no sort of um bad harmful stuff in it highly recommend 3.99 for that one anybody that's into skincare and looking after your skin this is a really good um moisturizing cream and in here they've got them for 3.49 really good moisturizer just looking down like the electrical aisle just see if there's anything that my boys will like and i thought these were quite cute they're little um kind of desk uh purifiers and someone's taking one out but and this is what it looks like but i mean that would look nice on my son's um gaming station on his desk he likes little gimmicky things like that and you can put all different scents in them as well i've got one in the living room a bigger version and i really love putting my um oils in them looking for some ferrero rochers and they've done this little christmas aisle with um all of the sort of cookies and biscuits and you've got the like shortbread um little selection uh packet for three pounds you've got your 
Victoria's there for 350 I think they are. But where are the Ferrero Rochers? Where are they? I cannot see them. Oh, I do love a jammy dodger. Here we go. We found some, but I feel like, well, 11. I feel there it's 11 pounds there, but these have got different ones in them. Mm, yeah, I think we'll go with them. Got this little uh, bubble tea little thing. I think my son would like this. Christmas pajamas, nine pounds. They're like a really nice felty material. Cozy club. They feel really nice. And then you've got the younger child ones, and then you also have these ones here, which are nine pounds, which are quite nice as well. Again, that really soft felty material, and they're all nine pounds. Some other like little cool little gifts depending on who you're buying for <laughs> my son would love one of these we don't have one at home i chucked my last george foreman away i've got a slushy maker there you've got donut maker you also have this here as well which is a crepe maker it's kind of cool um, and then just underneath you've got a cocktail slushy maker which is cool a candy floss maker here as well don't know how much this is though because i feel like it's been put where it shouldn't be um and then got some party fan in kind of drinks kind of thing there going on there oh god honestly i could have done with this today um a lumber belt i think that says lumber belt 20 pounds um comfort and relaxing i wonder if it heats up what does it do oh yeah um it heats up and it gets warm but i wonder if that would fit my waist that's the thing with these got heated slippers oh they're cool could do with those as well i think this is what they look like um someone's pulled one out of the box got a neck wrap there it's quite heavy what's this one here a hot water a hot water bottle um one that goes around your waist or something like that and you've got these foot warmers which are cool as well especially if you're sitting at your desk and you're at work and you want to warm your feet up quite cool and you've got a foot spa box at the bottom here i love these um they're 25 pounds now they were 29 pounds this is quite a nice little set it's a massager and a uh diffuser set you've got the diffuser and then you've got a massager for 20 pounds have a little set here as well again one of the diffusers with the oils which is kind of cool that's 15 pounds i like these little sets these massaging um gun things which are deep tissue massager it's got like a flat surface on that one and that one's 25 pounds not bad long water bottles here we've got so much so many um different colors and this one's got like ridges in them which is quite nice that's a tenner got black one there cream one pink one got this one as well let's cuddle quite cute and then you've got the normal traditional hot water bottles at the top so want to buy myself one of these little beauty fridges this one's a six litre one with led uh, led mirror at the front i'm not quite sure how much it is oh here it is it's 35 pounds um and can't remember how much the one was in home bargains i think it was like 29 pounds but i feel like this one is bigger i'm gonna pull it out and have a little look moving on we've got some more sort of like computery boy stuff my son's got all of this stuff already so it's like no point and then i will say that b ms do do really well with their um lava lamps i do really like their lava lamps in here that one's 12 pounds which is not bad at all it used to be 16 um, and then you've got some more along here and these are the star light projectors which are seven pounds got some more lava lamps at the bottom there as well spotted this one as well this is a led gaming fridge so you can pop like your drinks in um i did just order myself uh, not myself i ordered my son one from timu so this is the last one left i can't see any more um so if the one from timu isn't very nice then i might come back and get this one because he really wants one of these um i think it actually came this morning but i haven't opened the box but it's nice to know that they have these in here for 45 pounds so not too bad new i haven't seen these before last last year i bought my nieces one of these like uh 
Hollywood lights, but this one has a speaker in built in it and it's 25 pounds, which is good. It's got Bluetooth speaker, free light modes, wireless charging, touch control, main powered. So that's quite good. Um, that's like an upgrade to the one that I bought last year for my niece. Like that. Spotted a larger gaming fridge here, which is 59 pounds and you can fit a lot more bits in there. But yeah, how cool are they? They've got like the gift sets, like home bargains. We'll say I think they're a little bit more pricier in here um, from what I remember from home bargains. But this is like the men's section. Got a simples collection here, which apparently is worth £16 and it's £8.99. And you've got the shower gel, moisturising uh, cream, hand wash and shower gel there. And you've got one of the little, um, one of those little... I forgot what they're called now. <laughs> have a Nivea one here which is £10.99. Also have the Dove sets here which are £5.99 and then you've got some of the uh, Nivea sets and uh, these. this one's £12. So yeah, I mean Home Bargains, B&M's, they're all kind of near enough the same price but um, it's just obviously because I do film videos like this I kind of can see, compare the prices and these are little like lip balm um, little sets and you've got nail varnish sets here, bath bomb sets. Just coming down the Christmas aisle and um, just having a look at the crackers and these are some of the crackers they have. Oh I like these ones here, um, £8 for those ones, you've got some silver ones there. Really nice Christmas bag, um, I like this, that's £1.25, might pick that one up like that one side they have some like cozy um teddy duvet sets which i do like but i get too hot quite nice guys it is a really soft feeling throw um and it's got like christmas trees on it but if you guys can see there you've got it's uh, black and cream and it's 15 pounds i really like that that's really nice that would look nice in my front room on my sort of on the sofa oh i'm tempted so everywhere's looking a bit bare i'll be honest and i'm leaving my christmas shopping till so late because i'm still not buying much christmas stuff i haven't got my decorations out yet but they've got these small little wreath things you can put a candle on the top in the middle of these and put them on your table that's what i've got at home i've got one of these and i've got a candle that sits in the middle um how much are these these are £10, those ones. Um, got some Christmas um, lights here, which are £10. But yeah, it's so busy in here as well. Everyone's going a bit crazy. We've got some candles here. This is quite nice looking. Um, nice little candle. It says White Christmas on the front. I wonder if it's... It smells quite nice as well, actually. I wonder how much that is. Everything's everywhere, guys. This is what happens when you come late in the day. These little reed diffusers as well, which look quite nice. I've got little Christmas trees on the top, winter spice, and they're £5. Some Christmas mugs here, which are £3.50. Some more here. Nutcrackers here. Some Father Christmases. I don't know how much they are though. They're now £20 from £25. And some more of the kind of rustic, traditional Christmas wreaths here. Um, how much are these? Twelve pounds. This is a heart-shaped one, a round one, and a star one. And then you've got some garlands here, which are eight pounds. Pack of uh, gold baubles here, which are twelve pounds. Some of your um, tree ornaments here, which are like more of the traditional colours. Also have some tree skirts here which are quite nice and they're a tenner, they're like that super soft furry. Um, we've got that one here as well, a white one which is quite nice which is £15. We've got a grey one here as well, that one's 10 I do like this section here, they've got the Nautic Noah. I do like these and I do like these which are £3. Hey lovelies, so I am home. Oh my God, I need to take this hat off and sort my hair out. But I'm home from b 
B&M's and I thought I'd quickly show you what I picked up from B&M's. I'll quickly show you the kitchen stuff because I'm actually in the kitchen and I want to put it away. I'm going to quickly show you those bits and then the rest of the stuff I'm going to take upstairs and I'll show you upstairs in my bedroom. So I picked up two of the um, Mrs. Hinch Lenore um, boost, uh, scent boosters, that's what they're called. And this is in the Ro uh, Frosted Rose Wonderland. Why can't I see? I can't see very well, guys. Um, so I picked up two of these because they smell really nice and we always use them in our washing. Sorry, how sad does my fruit bowl look at the moment? It's terrible. Um, but the fruit goes really quickly. Like, we've only been shopping, I'd say, five days ago and the fruit's already gone, all of it. Um, but anyways, we'll top up on that in the week. Um, I got this yoghurt mint sauce because it is delicious. Honestly, I put it on everything. It's so nice. Um, I picked up a big, massive Vimto, like the value pack. I think that was like £3.50. And then... I I just picked up some noodles because my son he loves noodles like if he can't be bothered to make himself something to eat he will just quickly make some noodles so i've got the special chicken ones and the chicken curry and these ones are quite cheap they're like 129 for a pack pack they used to be a pan but they've gone up like 29p but still worth it um and yeah so i've just uh, stocked up on some more of those so that's all i got from the kitchen section and then i'm gonna go upstairs and have a cup of tea sit down and i'll come back and show you what i got okay so i'm upstairs taking my hat off thank god um and i just need to take my jewelry off and Honestly, like, I wear my jewellery every day, but I cannot, like, leave it on. Are you, like, a leave, like, your real gold and stuff like that? Do you, like, leave them on overnight? I honestly cannot. I'm, I'm going to take my earrings out as well. Um, Yeah, I have to take all of my jewellery off. And then I feel free. I need to take everything. Take bra off, clothes off, jewellery off, and then I'm okay. <laughs> Um, it just all bugs me. And how cute are these little earrings that my best friend bought me um, for my birthday? She bought me these and some other um, things. How lovely are they? They're like little hearts. And it just is in line with our matchy tattoos. I'll show you actually a picture of us holding hands and like the tattoos kind of like mesh into each other. But um, yeah, I'll put that up on the screen so you guys can see. So um if i do you know what maybe i'll pop in just after this um the footage of when we actually went and had it done i'll pop that in just after this piece so me and my best friend are getting matching tattoos for our birthday so excited but we get to this age and start being a bit crazy <laughs> i mean i'm in my 40s and i feel like i'm yeah. 15 again <laughs> Wait, you, really you, you, you sat there like it was nothing at all. I'm a G. <laughs> <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> so I was thinking that I was going to sort out my vanity drawer, but I feel like this is going to be, this vlog is going to be a bit too long otherwise. I was going to actually just kind of take you into tomorrow, which is Sunday, rugby day. Um, but again, yeah, I feel like it's going to be a bit too long. Maybe I can do that and not sort out my vanity drawer and do my vanity drawer in a different vlog or a different video. Oh, we'll have to see. But anyway, let me show you what I picked up from b and I'm just going to pull the bag over. I made myself a cup of tea. Got my tea still in my Hello Autumn because, yeah, I'm just going to drag it out because I love autumn and i love this mug i just really really love it where did i buy this from i bought this from the range i love it this is what my tea looks like guys oh i don't know if i can tilt it but that's the color of my tea what kind of color tea do you have mine has to be like quite strong but still i don't put normal milk into my tea <clears throat> it's really bad but i use coffee mate in my tea I, I like my tea to be really hot and when you put milk in it it just make cools it down so yeah i use coffee mate which is yeah not great but i do um so first thing that i bought i actually went back into the shop and said to my son oh i forgot something i'm just gonna run back in and um i quickly picked this up because i wanted to get it for him for christmas um i see this um bubble tea um cup and then it also has inside 
the ingredients to make how many? Um, you can make one, two, three, three bubble teas in this and it was £10 so it's like a bubble tea drink thing. I know he'll really appreciate that, he'll like that, he loves stuff like that. Um, toiletries, I picked up those and I did find the I actually did see the other Ferrero Rocher's, the ones with just these in, but the pack was smaller, so I picked up these. In here, there are 32, so we've got 25 days to cover, and I thought, obviously, this is going to be split between the two of them, so we have 50 days to cover if we add both of them together. So I picked up these, what have 32 in. I may not have enough chocolates, um, and I also picked up... Um, these as well because I wanted to buy some Lindors but there wasn't any so I was like okay what else can I get and oh these have got Turkish delight in we can't use those they don't like Turkish delight but I see all the other ones and I thought they would like these so I'm gonna do sort of one of these one 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 day these one day for a Rocher one day these one day for I'll mix it up I might need to get some other chocolates as well but I thought we'll stick with these two for now and see how we get on so I did pick up these um, feathers I do have some of these already and I feel like they look really cute on my tree so I picked up another pack which were three pounds and they have like the little clips on the end so you just clip them on your t onto your tree there's eight in here so I picked those up and I see these they were the last two left and I just kind of liked them um, they're so glittery though guys and the glitter is getting everywhere but they are these sparkly little trees. They're kind of like arched a little bit. Can you see? Um, but they're really sparkly. And they're really kind of natural looking. But sparkly at the same time. These were £5 each. So I picked up two of these sparkly trees. Um, I'll pop that there. And then i also picked up this little bell i don't know why i just really liked it but it's just a really plain bell with um this bow which has an outline of gold on it and it lights up so let me show you what it looks like when it lights up so this is what it looks like and i just felt like this would be cute somewhere i don't know what i'm going to do with it but i just thought it was cute so i picked that up and this was three pounds um I thought I wasn't going to get any Christmas decorations, but I sure did. Um, I also picked up, let's pop this bag down because that's just got the other tree in it. This has got, these have gone all glittery, but I picked up a couple of, well, not a couple, I picked up about four of these. And they are these little baubles with black and ivory with a gold top. This one was the only one that, this was, had a little bit of a default. Well, it's not a default, but the thread is kind of like coming out so I did see it but the the other two that were left were worse than this and I thought I could sort that out um as you can see it's got can you see a little bit of thread there coming up um but this these were one pound fifty each and they were from the Nautic um Noel range so the range in home bargains is called Nautic Nautic something and this is called Nautic um, Noel so yeah they're kind of like the same type of range but they had different things but I really liked the black and the gold because my front room I have black accents um, and I know I've got loads of gold things um, for my tree and something's telling me that last year I did buy some other black things for my tree but I honestly don't remember and I still haven't got the Christmas tree decorations out because it's just hard work guys honestly even when you don't have chronic illness just the thought of having to pull your christmas decorations out is a nightmare so can you imagine how i feel i really don't want to and the others are really not into sort of decorating and stuff like that they don't really give a toss if there's decorations or not they do actually because one year i didn't put the decorations up till really late and i only put the bare minimum up and they were like mum where's all the decoration so they do care but they don't care enough to like say oh we'll do it you just sit back and relax um I have to be like you you do this and you do that I have to like allocate um but I have to initially like start it and kind of to be honest 
I like it like that because if I left it to them, I would literally be sitting there going, because, yeah, there's been times where they're like, we'll sort it out, you say nothing, you you just keep quiet and let us do it. And honestly, I feel like I can't. Are you like that? Do you need to have like a bit of control over certain things? I do. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, next, I bought some more little um, Christmas tree things. Um, I bought these lovely little um i was gonna say triangles they are kind of triangly um christmas trees uh gold ones with the kind of rustic little tie there i bought three of those there wasn't many left and again they were in that nautic range as you can see here and they were two pound each so i bought three of those and then obviously i bought some of those black and white uh black and ivory baubles um and some other little bits that I bought was some toothpaste, some Oral-B. I really like this Oral-B toothpaste. It's the Glamorous White One, Smooth Whitening, 24-hour stain prevention. I really like this one, but I haven't had it in a while. So when I see it, I was like, right, I'm going to pick that up. So I picked that up. I also picked up one of these, which is a vitamin C um, kind of capsule tablet things that you fizz in your drink i am at the moment taking electrolytes which i'm really enjoying they're really helping i, I they are really helping me um as soon as i sort of drink one i can feel that it does give me some energy so um yeah picked up some vitamin c ones um i also picked up one of these from a handbag it's the smell of like dior it smells really nice and sometimes you just want a little spray in your bag yeah so yes yeah, so i've got one of those i think that was 149 um let me pull this bag up to my lap here um so okay so when it comes to the jaw storage thing we got into a bit of dilemma because there wasn't any like there wasn't any plastic see-through ones and i really wanted the plastic see-through ones well there was but they were all different sizes like heights and i was like it's not going to sit flush in my jaw it's going to have ones that are higher than the others and i and it really threw me off so i did get some but i think that i may decide i'm not going to keep them because i'm not quite sure on them um i did get some clear ones though so these are the clear ones that i got so there's some more baubles there but i bought these clear ones here which are kind of thin and long i bought three or four of those um and then i bought these ones which are like mini ones um honestly i didn't know how many i needed to get for the drawer i just kind of eyeballed it kind of was like thinking about how big the drawer was and then i ended up buying these white ones as well so i felt like through the back of the drawer i could do these white ones going across and then maybe so like these at the back and then these ones going across the front I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know because I really would have preferred these this size, but there wasn't any and I really didn't want to come home with none. So, yeah, I ended up getting these. So, we'll kind of like see if it doesn't work and then I'll just take them back. But I picked up about five of these because I felt like, again, I don't know how big my jewellery is, but I felt like four didn't seem enough. So, I did. I picked up five of those and they were £2 each. Um, and I also picked another one of my pearl drops. You guys will know I always tell you about these. I really like this. It's great for keeping your teeth nice and white. It's not really like a toothpaste that you like brush your teeth for freshness. It's more like after you brush your teeth, do this. Um, it just gives it a little bit of, I don't think it's a toothpaste anyway. It says cleans, polish and protects. I don't know, but I don't use it as a toothpaste. I feel like I need to use a, like a toothpaste, like a tube, and then I use this after. So, um, but I really, really recommend them. They're really good. Um, and I did pick up this. I did show you at the beginning of the, uh, when I first went into, I was going to say home bargains, B&M's. I see this. I've never used it before. It's a facial hair remover, and gosh, I'm getting old, and I'm sure I'm growing. I'm growing a goatee, um, but yeah, I do have to like shave my face every now and then. But I normally use the um, 
the face blades and I normally do my whole face but this every now and then I can see and feel like a little bit of a bristle and it's not a nice feel so I thought I'd get that and try it out oh I also picked this up which I thought looked really cute look at this candle it's a really beautiful pretty looking candle and that was four pounds and I just feel like it looks kind of bit like white company-esque I don't know something about it it smells really good as well because I smelt one in the store and there was only one left and it had no lid on it and I picked it up and took it to the till and then the lady come bought that so um, I swapped it over for the one with the lid um, next up I picked up some flosses I honestly need these everywhere I like to floss after I eat all the time so I have floss in my bag floss at the side of my bed floss in my vanity drawer floss in my car I just like to floss so two of those for one pound they've got 40 in them so that's really good um so yeah got some dental floss um oh, I bought one of these because the lock on our bathroom door broke and I wasn't I didn't want to get like a proper lock with the handle because I am replacing all the doors in the house so I was like for now this will do and it was £3.50 so lastly I picked up one of these creams now this I've never tried but this is a multi-purpose uh, comfort balm and I don't know if I've told you but I've got an app on my phone and on the phone you can open it up and it's got a barcode scanning thing and you can scan all of your skincare all of your food and it will tell you if it's like really good for you or really bad for you like it will list all of the bad stuff in it and stuff like that and I scan this and this got a hundred out of a hundred so it said it was excellent okay I managed to get it open thank goodness um I just popped my finger in and had a little feel of it and I thought, oh, it is like, it is really nice feeling. And actually, I thought it was going to be a lot more kind of thicker and more oilier. But, oh, it's really nice. It's it's scented, but very mild scented. It smells like, it smells like this one, but um, it's very mild, but still a really nice, clean sort of smell. This is nice. This is really nice. This is a little bit more. This is just a little bit more kind of intense, as they say. Yeah, this is going to be great for my feet. So, yeah, really, really like that. Guys, I was just about to... Um, I was just about to get in the shower, take off my makeup, my little bit of concealer and blusher. Um, and then I sat here and started editing this video and I edited it and realised how long it was so I'm going to end the video here. I really hope that you enjoyed spending the day with me today um, and yeah we just you know we just vibed today. We I'm really happy that although it was a bad start of the day like I did not think I was even going to be able to like leave the house and yeah I was so happy that the painkillers kicked in and I was able to just get up and go to uh, B&M just for a bit to have a little look around and yeah I just feel good about it <laughs> honestly the small wins mean so much to me I know it sounds really silly to some people but you know going to get to go to B&M's and just have a little mooch around and going to the shops, honestly, it, it's it's a big thing for me. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I hope that you enjoyed spending the day with me. And I really do look forward to seeing you in my next video. I don't know what it will be. Um, I am feeling more sort of creative lately and wanting to do more videos. I'm just really enjoying spending time with you. So, I hope you guys enjoy it too. I know, like, my come shop with me is getting a lot more views than the vlogs. But I know that some of you that are really... Um, you know, really good, um, sort of, really good, does that even make sense? I've got some subscribers that really enjoy spending time with me and being in my company, regardless of what the content is, and I really appreciate it, so I know you'll be here watching this video, and I just want to say a massive thank you, and I want to send you a big kiss and a cuddle and I hope to see you in my next video take care of yourself please do um the weather's changing especially my chronic illness warriors take care of yourself and 
really give yourself time, give yourself grace, because for me, I know winter is a hard time, because my bones, just the cold to my bones, and just the way I feel, I know I feel it a lot worse in the winter, so yeah, if you are anything like me, then I just want to say, please do look after yourself, and you know, if you can't do something, just say no, Um, I know sometimes you feel bad for it, I certainly do, when I'm asked from people to can you do this and can you do that or you know the kids want more than what I can give Um, it does really make me feel bad about myself but at the same time I have to preserve the energy that I have so I can do all the things that really need to be done or you know yeah you know, you know, you get what I mean. But anyways, I'm going to take off my little bit of makeup and I'm going to go jump in the shower and I'm going to relax for the rest of the night. And yeah, like I said, thank you for watching and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye guys.